Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just stink. I'll take a toe off.
Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Freedom. This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Thor is sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a lot of the old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster, and a chef, and a handyman, and whatever else we need. Cooking's my true passion. You need a Raptodon to taste good? Bring it here, and I'll work a miracle or two. By miracle, he means salt. He adds salt and calls it cuisine. Hey, don't go spilling my secrets. You're just mad we cut you off. Lady's got a right to drink, damn you. You be careful. Don't let this one near your medical supplies. She ain't picky as to the difference between pure alcohol and distilled spirits. As you were. Ugh, my
what is it? What kind of idiot keeps a collection of empty shells? Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. All I'm saying is it ain't worth The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. What? Oh, in Milton's place? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Me and my diary have got some catching up to do. Damn right. Ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me. Except being locked up. Well, on the way back, I twisted something in my leg, foot, area. Where does my foot end and my leg begin? Wherever that is, it hurts. So, no runs for me for a little while. Time to kick back and relax. Uh, <laughs> I did a dumb thing. I was trying to get away from a terror ray. Usually, you can just get a ways from their nest and they'll stop following you. But this one was really persistent. Chased me for, I don't know, forever. Scratched me up but good. I barely got away. Then I tripped over a void damn rock. A rock! Not even a slippery one. Till it stops hurting, I guess. Zora says I'll be fine in a month or so. Huh? Why? Oh, ha! You're funny. This armor itches something awful. Never seen you before. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. The only thing I got to teach is get the fuck off T1. Or whatever they're calling it this week. Anybody with half a brain could tell you that. Look, you wanna buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. I can't repay no kindnesses now. Alright, so. I reckon one of the most interesting places I've been is the hot pole. You know what that is? Exactly. This moon ain't big enough to rotate. It's locked. One side always facing Olympus, the other always facing away. Olympus might not be a star, but it throws off ass loads of heat. Monarch's hot pole is the part that's closest to the gas giant. It's in the middle of this big mountain plateau. Volcanoes so high, the peaks are in space. O2 breathers. The heat from Olympus is worse, though. Close your eyes, you can see rays bursting through your eyeballs. Little streaks of light. The funny thing is, dead in the middle there's just smooth rock. Circular-like. All the dust blown away. Pale gray with hair-fine cracks all over. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was lightheaded from the O2. But I felt like I had to take off the breather for a moment, put my ear to the ground. I did get a burn on the low before I smartened up, put a towel under me. It was at the edge of hearing, deep down, far off, irregular. Tap, 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 tap. The sound of a bird pecking out of a shell. <laughs> I don't like to tell that one sober. Get the shake something fierce. When there's a ground quake now, 
I hold my breath. Because I don't know if it's Olympus squeezing us for gravity or wings getting stretched. A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? Might be a job in it for you. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Mostly we protect the folk from the beasts here. If it's spat, scratched, or stung, we'd kill it for you. So long as you had the bits. We split ways around the time this twice fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. I'll be glad for it. But I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. Thereabouts? Appreciate it, kid. I'll mark an outpost on your map. You spend a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Move along. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Let me guess. You're here to collect it. Well, I can tell you right now, it is not gonna happen. I won't go back. My entire life, she locked me in Stellar Bay because she was afraid. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can.
it? You ought to know. That one ain't vodka anymore. Get a whiff of that. Hey. Carry on. You got a drinking problem? Suck sulfur, asshole. Lady, I Huh. It ain't right. How many good folk we gonna lose to our missions? Carry on. Hmm? A manta queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. What? Sorry. Long day. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Sounds to me like a nifty little challenge. Such enthusiasm, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Our own little fixer-upper. Will you aid us in our cause? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Hey.
kills recently? And who could beat on any of them? 